Well, there we go. So um, this is my season review, my first season as a Spurs manager. Uh, this is FM22. Um, obviously, this is just the beta, so I'm not going too crazy. But I just had such a successful first season at Spurs. Um, thought I'd record this. So, new arrivals. Yeah, we bought a lot of players in. Um, Alberto B. I'm not sure why B minus. Um, uh, he, yeah, um, he bought it from Lazio for 60 mil. Played every single game, I think. Um, and he scored 36 goals and 29 assists. And he's a midfielder. He's a Mazzana, which is unreal. If Onoachu, who came in in January, played every game after I bought him in January, and then he came back from the Africa Cup in February. And yeah, 16 goals and 11 assists in 23 games. For me, it mostly it was his assists that were most beneficial, I think. Mings, again, helped really shore up our defence. Diata, right back. I, I mean, a whole, a whole new team, basically. So, I basically sold Kane, um, Winks, Delhi, the majority of the traditional Spurs players. Um, and then I had a budget of about 280 million. <laughs> and I sold all of those. So I brought a lot of people in. But yeah, we ended up finishing first. Yeah, I had an unbeatable season. Which was pretty sick. We drew to Chelsea, Liverpool, Everton, Brighton, Chelsea, Burnley, and Wolves. So we didn't beat Chelsea. We beat everyone else. There's some really big games. Yeah. So, pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Only concede. Yeah, we didn't concede many. Uh, the Euro Cup we won. Euro Cup two, the Conference Cup. Um, first ever winners of that. That's quite. That's quite exciting. Uh, Luis Alberto again scored thirteen goals and, and twenty goals in the league. Fran Torres, who's another great buy, um, scored five in the FA Cup. We came, got to the finals. Um, yeah, got to the final. We, you know, beat Man U, Wolves on the way. Didn't we never? We never played our proper full starting eleven. I don't think. So, but yeah, it was just agonizing in the final. Um, it was 2 2, went to extra time. We went 3 2 up and conceded a goal. In the second half of extra time, the last few minutes, we conceded another goal. It's just because there were so many fucking fixtures and my players were just dead. And then the Carabao Cup. We, this, was, this was. So I only lost twice in the entire season. So I lost to Liverpool in the final in extra, extra time. And I lost to, I lost to Fulham. Um. In the, in the in the Carabao Cup, but that is because I was playing like the youth squad, basically. Basically, the board didn't give a shit. So, uh, yeah, biggest win in the Euro Cup against Maccabi Haifa and won ten nil. Pretty fucking mad. Um, yeah, and then we we absolutely demolished Man U. And December. I'll watch those goals. You can see why. Basically, uh, Sola and Alberto, two of my Spanish midfielders, you can see why. They're my two Mazalas. Um, and they scored an absolute shitload. Um, I'll show you the full stats after this, but... The goals they scored were pretty good. This was this was before Onimachu as well. This is when I was playing Son every game, whereas in the end he ended up more of an impact sub. Oh yeah, I think this is goal of the season. He scored better. He scored a lot. He scored a lot. <laughs> Louis Alberto is amazing. 
But yeah, the vertical tick attacker, super good. Those two players, Solo and Alberto, so, so good. Skip was my deep line playmaker for the first half of the season before I brought in uh, Puig. But yeah, look at that goal from Solo. Phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. 10 and 10. Insane. Insane. Finances. Most certs of were Minamino. That's cool. Got Japanese fans, got Korean fans, uh, and then <laughs> Spanish fans. <laughs> That's good. See so yeah, how we lined up. This was the yeah, end. By the end, this was how we lined up. Um, poor Minamino not making it, which is depressing. Minamino normally played where Son is, but Son just so good as an impact sub. Son would come on for any of my front three. Um, it's going to be really interesting to see how that changes. Also, I ended up having Brian Gill as a left back. Um, or Sessegnon, which which worked out quite well. I, oh my god, I bought a left back. What was his name? Can't remember. I'll show in a minute. Yeah, so I got manager of the year. I also got manager of the month for September, December, February and March. Louis Alberto got 36 goals and 29 assists. I mean, it's crazy, really. Goal of the season, signing of the season. Diata, that's my right back that I signed. Uh, he was very good. Look, Alberto, everything, insane. And Diet, doing quite well. Um, I didn't play him much, but... Tyrone Mings was a big signing. I needed a big, strong centre-back that didn't really give a shit. Um, because Spurs are just crap. Like, the, the entire team, apart from Son and Lloris, has been gutted. Yeah, didn't really expect to, to do that. So that's pretty cool. So just looking back at, like... Oh. Louis Alberto is saying is is congratulating me. That's that's nice. That's nice. So yeah, let's just look at stats. Oh wait, hold on. Uh, squad stats. Nope. Here we go. Goals and assists. That'll do. So yeah, um, Alberto got twenty. This is in the Premier League. 20 goals and 11 assists. Son got 18 goals and 4 assists. Ferran Torres, 17 goals, 8 assists. Sola, 16 and 8. Onoachu in 15 games, 12 goals, 9 assists. Mino Mino, who played almost as many games as Alberto, 9 goals, 11 assists. And Lucas Moura with 2 goals, 2 assists. Otherwise, uh, there's also... He's got to go. He's not good enough. Played 21 times and got three assists. Um, and he plays in the same role that Sola, you know, Sola and Alberto play in. So it's not good enough. Um, Diata got seven assists from right back. That's pretty cool. Uh, Skip got three assists. Mings got three assists. And Pui got five assists. But, but his passing has been really good. I mean, I, I bought him for 22k. And he's now worth between 78 and 89 million. I don't know how I bought him for that much. He was out of contract. And the sum was 22k. And I'm trying to find out where it would be. I believe. We have a sell-on clause, which is why it was so cheap. It's like a 20% sell-on clause or profit thing. So there is that. Um, this is how I lined up. This is how we look at the end of the Din Dinier. I bought Dinier. Oh, I bought Dinier for a lot of money. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. So we really needed a left back because with Guglion uh, left, um, he was bought for like 40 million. Um, 
So I retrained Brian Gill to kind of play as a left back, but defensively he's not really there. Sesson Young, not good enough. So I bought Digne. Uh, it says on here 125 million. <laughs> Which 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 is not true. That's not what happened. Um, I bought him for fifty million, um, and his sell-on clause is like a, a shitload. But apparently, his transfer value now is two hundred eighteen to two hundred forty million. I'm not sure how that works, but that's pretty good. I wonder how much everyone else's transfer value is. Yeah, on new actually for ninety three. I bought him for sixty. He was a, he, he he's fantastic. Look at him. He's six foot seven. Yeah, he won the fucking golden boot and all this stuff. Two like two years in a row in Belgium for Genk. So he's fantastic. I'm losing Alfie. I'm losing my I lost Scalini because he got like a massive massive injury. So then they recalled him, so I couldn't buy him, which sucked. And then. Um, Alfie Whiteman, who's been my backup goalie, not that he's played, um, is leaving. He's going to Portland because I forgot to renew his trans his uh, contract. That's fine. I'll just buy a new backup goalkeeper. Larice is down to two and a half stars. Might be worth bringing in a new goalkeeper. Also, Romero played a lot of games for us. Um, his loan ends and I'm just curious whether it's worth buying him or not because he wasn't I mean we won but he was like our weak link in defence Diat is really good Digne is pretty good but there were points when Romero was just losing it on the pitch and I'd being fucking dire on you know to shore up the defence which he would do. But again, Dyer wants to go as well. Dyer's asked to leave. Because he's only played like four games. Um, but you know, he's come off the bench 11 times, which is pretty big. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, we'll see. But yeah, this is my my midfield is, is Sola, who is... A 25 voice well, he's, he's 25 year old Spanish guy I bought him from Valencia for 45 million and at the same time I bought Louis Alberto from Lazio for 50 million so I spent 95 million on in my opinion two of the best centre mids from Spain um, I was again playing Oliver Skip as a kind of um, deep line playmaker role because um, his passing is pretty good uh, and he had more defensive capability than Lo Celso who's tackling he's 14 he did, does, didn't seem like it didn't seem like it at all he played like it wasn't like that um, and then eventually I bought Puig for yeah 22k who's been pretty good so I have a very Spanish-looking midfield. I've got Torres, who, yeah, he's been pretty good. He's been pretty good as his, at the Ramdoid position. Really, really good. He's scored some great goals. Mino Mino has been really fucking good too. He initially was going to be in the middle. How much did I buy him for? 19.5 million, so nothing. Initially, I bought him to play the sort of false nine role. It this wasn't very good, and I found that he was as much better coming from the wing. So I would put Son up there instead, and then I bought one of Achu. I don't know, Achu is six foot seven and just an absolute beast. So yeah, that's my squad. Um, I have some transfers coming. Uh, yes, <laughs> Mbappe is joining us. <laughs> Mbappe is joining us um, for free, for free, and we're paying him almost half a million a week. 
which is insane. You consider the people, you know, we're paying most we're paying anyone. Jesus, is Minamino at 200k? But I recently renewed his his contract because he only had a, you know, two year one. Yeah, so he's at 200. Son's at 190. Alberto at 185. And so, yeah, I mean, Diata's at 82. Gil's at 80. Onuachu's at 80. Mings is only at 78. Puig's at what, 43? He's technically an emergency backup, but he's just too good. Um. Yeah, and skips at 25. I mean, incredible. I, I think I promised someone I would renew their contract. No, I don't think I did. Yeah, so we've got Mbappe coming in the summer. Um, and I believe my... Tr I believe I was told my transfer budget for next season would be... High tempo pressing football, no. Uh, okay, these are new. Minimum four year contracts for work for first team players. Okay, this is a lot you're asking of me. Challenge in a domestic comp competition, work towards winning the Premier League. Next season, I just need to, to qualify. Okay. Suggest. Uh, no. Suggest. Whatever. I don't care. I think I, I technically play high pressing anyway with Tick Attacker. <laughs> Being honest, I'm. You know, it's the 4th of November. The full game comes out in four days. Or five days. It's on Tuesday. I'm, I'm not going to play, play it long enough to get fired. What we plan to achieve? Uh, we're going to qualify for the Champions Cup. That's a target we can all get behind. I don't think anyone gives a shit. The late stages of the Champions League Cup. You aren't being ambitious enough. Okay, let's aim even higher. Well done. Great. It never go well. Singapore, USA or China? Go to Singapore. It's fine. Louis Alberto got player of the season and the golden boot and the squad of the season was basically our squad. No, no, about strikers though, it's just sad. That's fine though. Basically our entire team though. Yeah. So that's us, that's our first season. I'm probably going to do these wrap-up videos um, for Cheltenham. I think I'm going to go to Cheltenham. I'm tempted, I'm very tempted to maybe continue this save. Um, and basically be like, oh yeah, I came into Spurs, I won everything. I'm retiring for a year and then in 2024 20, take over like Cheltenham maybe. Yeah, that's uh, that's my Spurs save.